In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite under center passes in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player at Madden 21 through doing tips and, t and tricks videos just like this one that give you some type of tangible tool, tip, or tactic that you can use to be more effective. So let's jump in and get better together in Madden 21. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at I-Form Close today out of the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. And the reason that I like this formation is because it allows you to run the ball, but it also allows you to the opportunity to throw the ball if the defense gives you the, you know, gives you the advantage in that way. So I wanted to share with you um, one of my favorite passes in the entire game, and that is the PA Titan Leak. And we're going to jump right in here. So uh, the first and foremost thing that I would say is if you can run this to the left side of the field, meaning if you could run the um, the le on the left hash mark, that would be perfect. Now really quick before we go too far into this, I just want to let you know that if you have not already joined my text message membership, it's a great opportunity for you to be able to get high-level Madden schemes completely for free. Every single week I release a new scheme in my text message membership. These are very high-level schemes. In last week's video, we released the trips tied in which is very similar to um which is also in the las vegas play playbook so you could come out in trips tied in you could then audible down to the eye close and run both of these schemes in conjunction so if you haven't gotten that text membership my number is in the top left hand corner of the screen make sure to text me and uh and we can get that to you okay guys so this play is very uh i think it's just very good um there's several different ways that you can run it too which makes it even better but the first thing that I would recommend doing is smart routing the tight end. Now, if you notice, when you smart route the tight end, um, he gets this nice, sharp corner out. This is really, really important, and it's what makes this play super, super good. Um, I like to smart route the tight end, and I like to smart route Mike Evans, and that's pretty much all I do to this play. Um, one other little tip that you could do is you could take your your um, your fullback on this play, and you could, mo could put him on a little flat route to the left side. But this will do. This is perfect. And basically, you're going to have a high-low read on this right side. If the fullback is open, obviously, you're going to take the fullback. And if the fullback is covered, then you're going to try to hit the um, the tight end. Now, uh, one of the things that I did want to share with you uh, as far as like the tight end goes with the latest patch... Um, if they're playing, if they're playing a specific kind of coverage, oftentimes you'll be able to hit that tight end pretty much against any coverage in the entire game, and it's just because of the way that that smart routed uh, corner route is going to work now, especially with the latest patch as far as how cover three works. You're going to notice that if I pass through this to the right, I'll typically be able to get this to the tight end. Now, you know, sometimes they will be able to, um, they will be able to get it. But it's normally, you know, normally going to be, you know, again, an easy pass lead for you. You see they're just pass lead outside, and we're able to get that route to the tight end, even against purple zones. Um, now, as far as, like, cloud flats, let's say they run cloud flats on you. Uh, let me just show you what this looks like against a cloud flat. You'll see here, just pass lead it to the right, click on, and as you can see, you're going to be able to hit that against cloud flats. So you're able to beat curl flats, you're able to beat cloud flats, you're able to beat seam flats. Every zone of the game, that corner route is going to work against uh, with cover two. The only thing that I would say is cover two does a little bit better of a job. But the one window about, or the one thing about cover two is there's often this window right here. Um, and I threw it a little bit too late, but there is a little bit of a window between the linebacker and the, and the corner that you can hit. The other thing about cover two um, is you're going to have this post over the middle of the field. If they run cover two, just pass through this skinny post up, and as you can see, you're going to have a nice read against that coverage. This passing play beats every coverage in the entire game, and the beauty of this is... It's all from this one uh, under center formation that is really, really good. Obviously, you want to force them to, do, if they're not going to guard the flat, take it every single time. Most of the time they will, especially in this in this offense. Most of the time you'll see something like this right here where you've got hard flats on the outside, and that's where that corner route is really going to come in handy. As you can see, it, that's going to kill um, hard flats on that side. Now, you might be asking, well, what about man coverage you know what are you what are you going to do against man coverage that's more of what the post routes are for the tight end route will, will sometimes beat man um he won't always beat man a lot of it does depend on his route running but you'll notice that this post route 
uh, both of your post routes will be man-to-man -man coverage. So, you know, again, very simple, but just smart right your tight end. And again, if you just watch, like right here, the tight end pretty much, I mean, almost almost was able to beat that coverage. A lot of it depends on the route running of the tight end as far as whether or not he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So that's just something that you have to understand uh, going into things. But your post routes, um, once they cut to the inside, should beat man-to-man -man coverage relatively easily, especially if you have good receivers running them. Um, you know, you're not going to have to worry about that too much. And now, uh, what about, like, cover zero? With cover zero, um, you should have pretty good pretty good openings here. The tight end should be able to get open. Again, it's all about route running when it comes down to man coverage. So if you don't have, it, like, like um, Gronkowski doesn't have the route running to be able to get open, but if you're playing in mutt and you have, like, a Jermichael Finley or something or Darren Waller, um, that's going to get open. The other thing is, and there I threw it a little bit too early. i got to wait for him to cut. But that post, that skinny post from this from this play um, should be able to beat press or cover zero, cover zero style of man coverage. So I'll show you here uh, one more time here. Just wait for him to cut inside. That's what we're looking for. Click on, and as you can see, able to beat man-to-man, -man, um, able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. And then um, another coverage that I haven't touched on yet is Mabel coverage. So what do you do You know when they're running a lot of Mabel coverage? One of the most popular coverages in Madden. Uh, I think it's one of the best coverages in Madden. But what you'll notice here is this post route will do a really good job. But the problem is when it gets to the sideline, you see that the Mabel coverage can handle it. So um, really what you're going to have to do when it comes down to it with Mabel coverage is you're going to have to work your... You're gonna to have to work your um, your post routes, and you're gonna to have to work both of them. So whichever one they don't go user, um, that's that's what you're trying to hit. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So these are our post routes, and what you see here is oh they don't go that way. Okay, I can hit that right there quick. So if they go to the right side first, then I'm looking left. If they go to the left side first, then I'm looking right um, from a post route perspective. This formation, I think, is one of the best under center formations in the entire game. Not very many people have been passing from this this year, but I think this has some very good passing opportunities. And in the Raiders playbook, it just makes it better because you can audible down into this from some of the best passing formations in the entire game. And obviously, you can run the ball from this with the stretch, with the power out, <coughs> and with the ISO, as well as the halfback toss. So... That is uh, one of my favorite plays from iClose. Hopefully this will help you get, kind of start to get the wheels turning on how to pass from under center pro sets. Um, I think this, in combination with strong close, are two of the best under center passing formations in the entire game. So make sure that you guys check out the text message membership. Also, I'm working on a bunch of tight end ebook out of the Las Vegas Raiders playbook that should be out today. So if you want to get uh, a little bit of a discount and early access to the ebook, go ahead and make sure you text me so that I can get you on our list and then we can send that to you as soon as it's released. So thanks for watching today guys. I want to personally invite you to our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time where I'll be running um, this offense and kind of sharing with you kind of how it works and also like I said I just want to remind you that if you want to get that ebook as soon as it's released and if you want to get a discount on it go ahead and text me. All of our text message members are going to be giving free, or not free access, but giving early access and are going to be given um, a little bit of a discount on the offense as well, which I'm really, really excited about. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys uh, on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock.